kind of being goofy up here today. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Jody Barrows with the Square to Square. No, I'm Jody Barrows with the Square to Square. No, <laughs> I'm Jody Barrows with the Square to Square. <laughs> well, I think we'd all agree that we're the crazy square girls. <laughs> Well, for those of you that are new to us or just joining us, this is my friend Kay Roberts and Kathy Carilla. They are from the Franklin Quilt Company. Uh, Kathy is the guru of our machine quilting on a home domestic machine. And Kay is the girl that's up for anything, whether it's quilting. She's got a new long arm that she's getting really good on. We're going to talk about that. She can piece like a dream. She has made things for the stars in Nashville. Yep. She is a jack of all trades when it comes to our sewing machine. She's really great at organizing tips and hints and I love the get it done philosophy yes. that Kay has. So that's that's kind of how I started and with the square to square system was that we have to figure out a way that we can get more speed and more accuracy and get to our sewing machines, get our work done and when we bring it off and press it and bring it to the iron and we open it up, we are excited with our work. Our points are nice and sharp and our work is smooth and flat and that's that's what we want when we do when we do yes, any work piecing, no matter yes. what quilt that you're working on. You want to be proud of your work and, and be excited to uh, take a picture and put it on social media right. or show it to your quilt group or whatever. So that's how the Square and a Square got started now almost 40 years ago is I was on a pursuit for a better way. I was looking for speed and perfection and uh, basically I was doing it just for myself. I knew that there was quilt police out there. I knew that I was breaking a lot of the rules. I was running and hiding as fast as I could from all of them. But you know, I thought, I thought, Big deal if I break a lot of the quilt rules. If I'm getting the results that I want, right. if I'm satisfied with what I'm making, and I've got smooth, flat work and nice, sharp points, then I'm excited. So it just kind of grew from telling my little sewing bee and then another little sewing bee right. and then my guild and then I had a shop and I taught it. And, and you know, a lot of this was even before I had books and rulers. It was just, mm -hmm. you know, kind of just very, you know, cottage you industry, know, yeah, yes, cottage right. industry, mm -hmm. and just home, you know, home based on mm -hmm. all of that. Well, and there wasn't so, the internet or anything like no, that there, so you, no, you know, it was just that. word the, of mouth. The, the only thing we had was tell a woman, you know, tell telephone, <laughs> telephone, telegraph, tell a woman, and you could get something, you know, spread all around. So I want to go through and do a demo here of the the basic units of the square and a square system, and then we're going to get Kay and Kathy's story on how they found out about square and a square and how they fell in love with it instantly and how it was a little acquired um, and to come <laughs> along the way because we have both of those those groups out there. We have people that see it and they're instantly like, I want one, what do I need? You know, let's get going. And then we have others that uh, are like, well, I don't need another ruler, you know, yeah. or what's so special about that, you know? And then we get these emails from people that are like, I saw you 20 years ago. Go. Man, I wished I would have latched onto it then. It would have uh -huh. saved me a lot of fuss and muss. So let's go ahead and get in here and demo. Uh, we're going to make some of the basic units. There's uh, 40 some options now. <laughs> I've got. I, I'm, I'm coming out with You're some of them. You're working hard. I'm working hard. 41 right now. 41 right now with the hen house, right? Yes. And we're well, gonna. No, that's, no, that's, that's 42. 42. That's okay, 42. 42 is our new hen house that we're gonna introduce kind of right now and at Quilt Club Week. And then there's two more that we're working we're on this on. week while mm -hmm. you guys are yep. here. So that'd be option 43 and 44. And those right. options we're gonna introduce in Premium Club this fall with our, our projects that we're doing. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, it is yeah. fun. And when you guys see the shapes that we're making, I know. Oh, yeah. these were oh, cool. like, yeah. you guys were yeah. like, what? What? Yeah. 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 Okay, so let's look down here at our demo uh, board. So here you can see this is your basic square with your strips on the side. And of course you can change your colors up. You can make them any size, any color you want. Here's a big one here. So the size of the center square is what determines the size of the unit that you're gonna get. And then of course your seam allowances and how you press will come in there and affect a little bit. So this is the original ruler. We always recommend that you start with the original ruler. And every quilt, I think that's probably the hardest thing for people to realize is that every quilt starts out just like this, right. mm -hmm. with a square in the middle, strips on the side. And then the different ways you trim it up with this ruler, we call it the original, the square and a square ruler. I then, have that one. Yes, yes. you finally broke down and got it. <laughs> 
So, uh, and then we have um, option one where we trim it, um, leaving the fourth of an inch. We have option two where we just keep going around, flying geese, half square triangles. Options one through four right here, and we talked about how we've got over 40 now. So the 90 is going to go right into the tip of that fabric square. The black lines go right over the seam. If everything's good, your grid line will shoot right through this point here. And this is going to give you that perfect fourth of an inch seam allowance. We were sitting around the table talking um, last night or this mm -hmm. morning or something mm -hmm. about, oh man, to make a square in a square. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, it was me. Yeah, the, with four the basic triangles. Units. Yeah, yeah, I said, you no said, way. No, no way. way. <laughs> yeah, you no were way. like, I'm just not doing that. No yeah. way. If a yeah. quilt called for that. And yeah. now this is the most simplest thing so you can It's so easy to make. do now. Yeah. So we're just going to go around. And if these are a nice size, I'll save them. Um, if they're not, then um, I just put them in a, in a little thing. And you can make dog beds or pillowcases, use it for stuffing, whatever. If you're Or you could even take them and just throw them in the trash. Exactly. There's nothing <laughs> it's wrong okay. with that. It's okay. There's it's nothing okay. wrong with that. You know, when you make a garment, you have leftover you have pieces. Leftover right? pieces. You know? yeah. When you buy um, a roast or a piece of meat or something, yeah, and you've you got a bone yeah. in it, you're not mm -hmm. going to eat that. You're just right. going to keep recycling until yep. stuff's gone. So we just keep recycling until right. you can't do anymore. So that's our option one, just like that, our square in a square. And then the next one we do, and all of these shapes, when you start learning these shapes and you start looking at quilts and doing what we call the, the biology or the quilt dissecting of mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. makes that quilt, you see all of these different options yeah. in yes. all of these quilts. So they, they make everything. What you call square eyes. Yes, square, square eyes. eyes. Yes. Yeah. So now to get our flying geese, we're going to trim leaving the fourth of an inch, just like we did here on two opposites. And then we're going to go right up to the tip on the other two. Now, you guys have traveled the world about as much as I have, and you've done about as many demos as I have at <laughs> quilt shows and stuff. Uh, when you guys are doing these, you know, just you get all kinds of comments. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. So when you get to the flying geese and you do the, the two-step, you just step it over two lines. That's why we call it the two-step. Keep it square. Mm -hmm. So, what are some things you've heard about doing this two-step? Well, of course, when we were talking about it, we would we would call it the Texas two-step. Yeah. Yes. So that you would remember, we said Jody is from Texas, and so we always did the Texas two-step. Two -step. So you know, we would get a laugh out of it, and yeah. and um, but they'd go, well, where's well, your where's seam? The, where's the yeah? Where's the quarter what happened inch? to the quarter-inch seam? Yeah. yeah. That's what they want to know cause because you're trimming that to the tip. Yeah. yeah. And they see so it what happens. Off, and yes. so they're like, what? And, you know, it really wasn't very many years ago. I kept thinking, why is it so hard for people to realize that your point has to come all the way down so to right. that corner? Mm -hmm. Therefore, we have to trim it sharp to right. do that two-step. And, of course, I was just to myself and laughing about it. And yeah. I thought, well, it's because they've never seen a decent flying well, game before. Oh, before. <laughs> they don't that's even that's know true. what it's that supposed to what look like. like. Yeah. <laughs> So once you have your, your two steps, then um, you just go right through those corners. And I like using the other lines. Yes, yes. I love that. Yeah, I love the lines. Vertical. Yeah, it keeps everything square. Yeah, yes. it just helps you know um, that you're going that you're straight across. Correct, yeah. So mm -hmm. two flying geese, if yeah. you want traditional geese going in a, in a row. Yep. Uh, of course, stars. Stars have always stars been my is, favorite. Yep. Um, yes. Uh, it really, this right here of a star and a flying goose is what promoted me to come up with everything that, that right. people see right. and do. A lot of times I'd go back and take an option one, cut it in half, yes, and then and show, show them, them where that, that seam now is and say, say, okay, now you're not going to have a nice crisp point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then show them where the seam would be here when you're sewing the two yeah. together. The two so and when you then come, come forth, across there and, forward, and then you're going to have a mm -hmm. nice... Your point, point right there your where point. you need it to yeah. be. Compared to what if you just yeah. left it on all four. So normally when people are doing just whatever way that they have of putting their, of making okay. their units, because you have to make all these units and then put them together to make your block and then right. put your blocks together to make your quilt. So normally when they, they get these units and they get them made, they don't look good no. when they're doing traditional no. stuff. No. 
No, we they talked need to be about, trimmed. We talked about how you take a square, a rectangle, you put and the squares on the corner, mm -hmm. and it still all dips in, yep. and yep. you you don't have all of this, what we call clean and right. neat, and no dog And you're pressing hairs. after you've cut it, so you it, it wobbles. You know, yeah, a lot of people just, a bit. you know, they don't press, they iron, and so they iron it. Yeah. And Wrong. so this is what, you know, of course, is the basic square. And we start out with everything in the basic square so that the human can do the human element of the cutting of the block, the sewing of mm -hmm. the strips, the pressing. Then you use the tool to come in here and clean it up. Okay. So we can improve on any imperfection that the human has done here. Right. When we when we sew and then we cut and right. get the results of you what we want. You can make adjustments yeah. at that point. So normally at this point, before I was doing square and a square, I would get these fine geese or whatever made. And because they're not this clean and neat and have the perfection that they have, I was already trying to figure yeah. out how, how to can I fix it? it? Yeah. How, can, how I can I improve this? Yeah. How can I make this better so that my block is good and I'll get my points and my smooth flat work? Mm -hmm. So normally, after you get your little units and stuff made in the old traditional right. ways of doing stuff, you're already, because you can see the human element is in there, yep. and you're already yes. trying to figure out how to, so to when you correct it. Yeah. yeah. So when you start out with them looking this great, then you know you can come in here and start sewing your pieces together right. and you're not already thinking about okay i need to ooch this yes, one over here yes. and, i need to and pin need this to, over here yeah because it's not right and you use a lot of pins because yes. you're trying to hold, hold it, it into mm -hmm. place mm -hmm. it's like grabbing a two-year-old by the hand you're trying to control it yeah. right. but you know it's it's, <laughs> it's, a, not, it's not, not it's not real as soon <laughs> no. as you turn loose that two-year-old yeah, is gone, gone. You know? gone. <laughs> so right. you know as soon as you take these pins out and then you go over to the iron and you try to heat Press it, it yeah, into to make it go perfection, into, yeah, conform you know? it, yes. so, it's not going to do it. Yeah, so you know, we kind of go about things a little bit differently than the traditional quilt world and some of those quilt police a long time ago were really hammering on me. But um, we don't have as many quilt police now no, as we no. used to. No, we don't. And uh, no. I'm just like, you know, if I'm getting the results I want, if my students are getting the results they yeah. want, then yeah. who cares? Who cares? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the rules that we had to go by were rules because of the way things were done. done. So those rules don't apply because we're not we're doing it the, the same, same way. way. Right. And yeah. we have better utensils and better yes. tools yes. that tools. will help mm -hmm. us to mm -hmm. achieve this. Yeah. Yeah. Really okay, do. so this is the, the system. You start with the basic square. You either trim leaving a fourth or go right up to the tip. And I want to tell you that um, there's tons of videos and teachings out there that you can go to. You can go to our website and sign up on our email so that when we do stuff like this or we do our webinars, you can be a part of it. We also are gearing up for our Quilt Club Week, and that's why Kay and Kathy are here, is we're doing filming for classes that they're teaching the first week of October is our Quilt Club Week, and that is a great way to go in there and Fabulous. get motivated. I mean, even oh, just absolutely. yesterday, we yeah. got so many emails yeah. and comments yes. of, oh, that's exactly what I but, needed. Yeah. You girls I need motivated me. Yeah, mm -hmm. inspiration. Yep. So, you know, one of our videos, maybe one of them we filmed yesterday was like 16 minutes, minutes. you know, so right. it's just a little demo and a little mm -hmm. tip. And then, you know, some Almost of them are an 25. hour and a half, you know, yep. depending yep. on what we're teaching yes. and how much time we need. And how much so. in-depth we want to get. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we're just kind of... Um, doing a little mini lecture type thing with mm -hmm. it and showing you the basics because we've kind of maybe done it before where you can go back the past right. two years right. yes. and yes. look yes. at those yes. and yes. get a little bit more. Yes, because our Quilt Club Week started 2020. We brought it because of the pandemic and we felt like we needed to give people something to look forward to and right. some inspiration and that and they loved it and so we've just kept going kept on with it. Right. So you can go to the website and sign up for Quilt Club Week right now. You can get uh, Quilt Club Week 2020, you can get 2021 and you'll also, when the first week of October comes, you'll be ready to go and signed in for our new stuff of 2022. And we're going to show a, a, some bits and pieces of that and we're mm -hmm. of our new stuff and we're, we'll do more new stuff in another quilt talk because we'll mm -hmm. do another one, at right. least one more this week. And uh, then we're going to show you some premium club stuff because the best way to stay motivated and to keep your mojo and everything going is to join a group like this. Right. It and is. when everything is online, you can go in and watch it whenever you want. Right. I yes. You wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning, or if you're in another country, country and it's midnight here, but it's noon there, you just go in and watch whenever it mm -hmm. fits your time. Mm -hmm. 
you're in the comfort of your own sewing room working with your tools and stuff, you can back it up, rewatch it now right. or weeks or months from right. now. And so. sometimes I'll be listening to it, you know, I'll be sewing and I might be listening to you about something or other and it's like, oh, what did she say? Yeah. And I'll go back and, yeah. and mm -hmm. it's a, a great way to just uh, relearn. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, keep your oh, mind going. Yeah, yeah. Keep yes. your you mind. Know, just keeping you in my head sometimes. Yes. yes. <laughs> a little I'm buzz. I'm in your head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in your head. Okay. So, Miss K. Yes. Over 20 years ago. Yes. You, you. 24, I think. 24 years is ago. When I met you. You decided to sign up for a square and a square class. Yes. In Clarksville, Clarksville Tennessee. Tennessee. Yes. And you didn't know anything about all this. No. No. Yeah. I really didn't. Uh, it was a show up there. Uh, I was at the point, uh, I done, I had a drapery workroom at that time, and that's what I had been doing for uh, 10 years, approximately at that mm -hmm. point, doing various things, for draperies. For the Nashville and stars. For, <laughs> lot, for several of the Nashville yeah. people, one yeah. especially that we did a lot for, so, uh, but uh, I wanted, quilting's always kind of been my passion, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom quilted before you know I kind of came along and life got busy and but she I still have quilts of hers but uh, and we were going to show one during quilt yes, club week yes mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. and um, I, I just wanted to get into the quilting business I just wanted to and just so and I just a had a pull I just wanted that business um, the entrepreneurship I guess mm -hmm. it's I've never worked an actual nine to five job mm -hmm. And maybe that's why, because mm -hmm. I'm always working odd hours or, okay, it's got to get done. Well, you had and, a family. And I had so a family, so I kind of worked around that and did what I could. So uh, you came to the show. I took your class. It was Shirt Tales and the first blue book. You've got mm -hmm. that one, little first it's now blue in the square black reference book. Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, you signed in there. It was 1998, and I did it out of flannel. Uh -huh. And you all know how flannel is a little soft so and a little, yes. more a little bit more movement. And I didn't know any better. It was just like, I want a flannel quilt. So from that time on, I don't know what it was, your personality, <laughs> probably, you know. But there was like, oh, you know, there's something with her Pulling that I you. really, yeah. really liked. Yeah. And I needed that. You didn't seem niche. like crazy yet. <laughs> no, I hadn't seen you were very, you know, professional. Professional <laughs> at that particular time, and um, and young. And I young. wouldn't have been very old. Yes, so yeah. yeah, you were. We're still young. We're still, we're still young. young. <laughs> yes, we are. In heart. So uh, from then on, uh, I think uh, we probably Kathy. I, we were friends. Fr us friends. We were friends and doing things together. and. And, and going to shows, shows and, and just, just having fun yeah. and enjoying life at that yeah. time. And and I kept, I went back, I remember going back to the room and saying, oh, look what this could do, you know, this is so cool. This may be my niche into the and world. And like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And Kathy's going, yeah, 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 yeah. So then we go to, um, I don't know if we went to, we probably went to festival. Yeah, I think we, think we went to Houston. festival to Houston yeah. then yeah. That, that year, the following year. Um, we had another friend that went with us, and and I tracked her down, and she was in her booth, and I kept going back. I'd leave for a while, and I'd watch the demos, and I'd leave, and I'd come back, and, and kind of started talking to them, and becoming friendly with them, so they didn't <laughs> think I was too weird out there. So, I think then, and then probably then the next year, we went back to... Um, Houston again mm -hmm. or somewhere mm -hmm. and I really I mean I stuck in your yeah, booth and was like really yeah like a, a yeah well you know we're busy in our booth and we're helping everybody you know and my oldest son Nick was helping me at that time and you know every time I turn around Kay would be in the booth and I'm like is she waiting on me to do something for her well you were <laughs> but it wasn't anything that I could do in the booth you know and uh, you know I kept saying you know to Casey or Nick or whoever was there yeah. helping me about what do we need to do for her? Is she waiting on, you know, question about no, a she's quilt? Just or, <laughs> no, she's just hanging just out. Hanging out. She just... I'm like, here, get to work. Yeah, really. <laughs> you stick around.
around too long. I'm hoping to work. Right. right. And we started talking. Yeah. You were saying you were doing a teacher certification. I went thinking about it. Thinking about yeah. doing it. Yes, yeah, thinking about, about yeah. doing it. Yeah. And I kept going, when are you doing this? Here's my check. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm write you a check right yeah. now. When yeah. are you doing yeah. it? And so I guess I stuck around long enough and you well, decided and you right. Well, talked a lot. Yeah, and we he talked was a helping lot. me a lot. And so he yes. was like, okay, mom, let's get this going, you know. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. kind of we. I was August. I'll, I'll remember it forever. August two thousand and one. Yeah. And I remember the swimming okay. pool. I'd go mm -hmm. out in the swimming pool and I'd lay there in the water and think of what the class was. And because she gave us tests. Yeah. I mean, yes. we yes. had tests true. back then. Came for a week. For you teacher came for a week for teacher certification, and we mm -hmm. had to take a test, and we had to know all the options, and we made our book and. And um, I think we were the Fab Fab Seven. Fabulous. Uh, well, there was a magnificent Magnific seven. Magnificent seven. seven. That yeah. was us. Yeah. yeah. That was us. We yeah. decided so we, we had, were the magnificent first, seven, yeah. the first one. And then you guys went home, and we yes. were going to yeah. wait a couple of weeks for our second, second one because we had enough students that wanted another one. Right. Yeah. And nine eleven happened. Yes. Happened. And we were like, oh my gosh, yes. the airplanes aren't even flying. Yeah. How is everyone going to get it. here? Yeah. 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 So anyway, yeah. so, so Kathy, she didn't fall in love right so, away. So well, t to begin with, Kay and I, we didn't have a shop yet, but we were we were going to shows, and then we started doing. It. Kay asked me, "Do you want to go with me to a show? Because I want to do a, um, I, I want to vend at a show." And well, and that's after I kind of got started with her. Right. Was that when? Because you were yes. like, I can take right. the ruler. Yes. Yes. And I, show, and I show got the information ruler. and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yes. Well, and and you had asked me. To yes, go to the to show, to the show. With you and, and that was we'll in um, uh, Foley, Alabama. Foley, Alabama. <laughs> yes, it was Foley, Foley Alabama. Alabama. It was a little quilt show down there. Yeah, yeah, which yes. was fun. It was fun yes. to do. And um, so you know, we were, she was, I was helping her. Not much, probably yeah. taking money and you know or yeah. whatever, like, and, like you normally like do. I normally do. And <laughs> wait a minute, I do a lot more now. <laughs> A dig? No. <laughs> so um, it's a rub. <laughs> when, we, when we when we got done with it, and you know, she's kind of talking about, oh, that's right, Paducah was coming up. Well, no, we didn't even know we were getting in Paducah. I don't know. Whatever. But I had applied for Paducah. That's right. That's right. I had oh, applied and, for and Paducah. You, isn't that when you said, let's form a business? Well, we kind of was talking about yeah. it, and I was talking about how, oh boy, it's going to be really rough because I really want to start this this quilt shop and I think I found the niche we can do shows we don't have to open up a brick and mortar right away we can sell out the back end of the van out of the minivan and uh, and I was just saying how hard it was going to be for one person to do it all and I mean you know I was really giving her the, yeah, she was giving the, me the business yeah yeah <laughs> I was trying to yeah, reel her in. in yeah yeah and like a and like, like a, a yeah yep a like fish a, I just hooked right on there and <laughs> yep. said oh sure would you, you know? like to would I would you like for me to be your business partner <laughs> I think and I yeah went, yeah yes yeah. <laughs> so anyways fast forward you know you got yeah. into the uh, certification and stuff yep. and you said you, you've got to learn you've got to do this yeah, you have to you've learn. got to you've got you to, to be able to you've demo. got to do this this ruler and I'm like oh, you know I I don't need really another need ruler. another ruler, you yeah. know. But then I was seeing the results of what she was getting. Everything was was clean, and the points were there, and and she was fast. Now Kay is normally fast, fast to she begin was with, but she was a smoking needle. No, yeah, are you? On that? I, yeah. yeah, I was fast, but I was faster than normal. Yes, yeah. 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 So, um, you know, being her business partner, okay, fine, I'll I'll, I'll go to this. Do I'll it. go to you know me. I just follow along and. Uh, <laughs> So I went to the certification, and still, you know, I didn't know a lot, you know, some of it, but um, meeting the people and getting to know you and just just the first four options, how many Marvelous, things you yeah. can do with the just mm -hmm. those options, mm -hmm. and then going in and seeing, okay, you can take an option one and make it into an eight, you can, and, and just... How getting into more going. options, it yeah. was like, yeah. okay, give me, I yeah. want the ruler, I want the yeah. books, I want this, yep. I want yeah. that, and um, it, it then and I was hooked. Then that's how we kind of started. And that's how we kind of started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it, you know, it was just uh, a good evolving 
It yes. was. And you, you guys know, really evolved. We evolved. Great point. Yeah. We didn't we start didn't. a shop right away. No. We were, like you said, selling out selling the back, back of the van. van. We'd go to the guild, load up the yep. van, yep. and go to the guild parking lot. And when <laughs> guild was over with, they, we would show them what we had. What you girls got this time? I know, yeah. I know. Yeah. It was like yeah. the peddler going, yeah. To, you know. yeah. Which was fun. Yeah. Right. And yeah, the, sales, fun. the sales rep from the big companies went, no, you don't have a brick and mortar store, yeah, so I don't know that we can yeah. come and see you. But there was one rep yep. that Took he the came to my house, yes. and we couldn't buy. I mean, if we bought six bolts of fabric, <laughs> yeah. that was like, And he oh, still came. He how did. much? He and he did. still he came. came. He says, I you think I believe grew. in you girls. Yes. Yes. I believe yes. in you girls. Your girls are going to go somewhere. So, uh -huh. Yep, uh, good rep. He was a he was good, a great rep. Great, yep. rep. Yeah. great rep. Uh, we so, loved him. So right now, to get started, we recommend the original square in a square ruler and then the reference book, the book one, the black book. And it's on a special right now on the website where you can save $5. Now, I can't really begin to express to you guys how important that right. is to save that $5 yeah. because we all know that everything, everything has gone up so tremendously. I have not changed the price of my rulers forever. Right. So to be able to get a $5 discount on that book and that ruler where everything is going up. I mean, we talk to people who do our printing and stuff and, you know, they're like, well, I'll be happy to get that printed for you, but I'm waiting on paper. You know, oh, or yes. oh, yeah. I'm happy to do that for you, but our price has gone up a lot because paper yes. has gone up for the and plastic ink. and mm -hmm. ink. And we all know, yeah, people. Oh, uh, some fabric people are having a hard time getting their fabric printed because of the dyes and so the inks can, and yeah. stuff. So, mm -hmm. and then we, um, on our next ruler, uh, on our next order of rulers, our price has gone up significantly. So oh. I, I'm hoping not to have to change the price yeah. of our ruler because I don't want to do that. But we may be forced, forced to into do doing that mm -hmm. just because the cost just, is so great. Right. So I can't begin to express to you how important it is to go in there right. and get that if you've been thinking about it. And do it now and save the $5. Right. Um, and we don't, you know, over the years we don't jack up our price. Even though we've gotten no. multiple increases over yes. the last 10 years. Oh, yes. We have not changed our price. No. So, no. So we try no. to give you the and best And if you value. have the original ruler, if you've been on the line or you saw it 20 years ago because you know when we were doing shows people would buy it and it looks really good and then they, and get, then home. And they get home and they don't know what to do with mm -hmm. it well the so first thing they have to do is take it out, and of, the out of the package, package. Right? that's yes. what i yeah that's they come say. back the next year and we say well have you taken out of the package no, no. no. well then i can't help you <laughs> yeah you gotta take it out, right. of the take it out of the yeah. package yeah so I got to where that was the first thing I said uh -huh, when they yeah. said, oh, I have that ruler. Yeah. The first thing I would say is, have you taken it yeah. out of the package? Yeah. Yeah. And it was so, be, everybody just laughed. Laugh. Yeah. Like, well, no. But then they didn't do it, you know, yeah. and everybody would laugh. And, and I'm like, well, you yeah. got to take it yeah. out of the package yeah. or it's not going right. to work. Yeah. That's right. And then I'd usually give them samples, you know, here, oh, here's a sample. And people would pick take it home. Up yeah, can I take that home? Yeah, yeah, flip it over. It's like, what is this, you know? And, of course, because the... The uh, lines didn't go all the way out. out. It was like, they were what? like, "What are you, what are yeah. you doing?" You know, and I'm like, "Well, this is what you're trimming off. If you go all the way, you've got just more of yes. those little pieces yeah. on there." Yeah. Yeah. You know, so the quantity of fabric you use is affected by the seam, the the sewer of how much you know they overlap uh -huh. these because it just has to cover that that square. That little square. Yes. Yes. But um, I want to go over here and show the hen house. So Ooh, um, this one. Yes, this oh, is our gonna... our new hen house. And last week we did a lot of lives. Um, from my sewing room where we talked about the hen house. So if you want to know more about the hen house and see a little bit more of the book, the hen house book, we'll be shipping those out any day. We're just waiting on them to arrive so that we can get them shipped out. So let's go back and kind of start at the beginning. So of course everything starts out with this basic square. And then you saw me trim it into flying geese. So if we put three flying geese together, it makes a rectangle. So here you can see three flying geese together for that rectangle. Then, just like this was a square and we put strips around it, this is now our center. It's a rectangle, oh, right. but it's still yep. our center. Yep. Right. And we're going to sew a strip on all four sides of it, just like we put a strip on all four sides here. We're going to trim it the same way with that fourth of an inch on all four corners 
Mm -hmm. and we're going to get this square. So even though you start out with, with a, a rectangle, rectangle yes. you're going to get yes. a square. Mm -hmm. yes. So look how you can get those beautiful little geese going so at an angle, cute, cute. but you're just working with solid seams, solid right. lines. Uh -huh. You're not having to do Too all this fuss and muss, right. sew on paper and all that. So this one is um, our hen house unit. This is one of our new options. It's in the new hen house book. It's a 20 page book. You have four patterns, two blocks. You have charts so that you can change the sizes on all of this. And this is an in-depth teaching that we're doing during Quilt Club Week. Um, uh, we have uh, like on a Wednesday, the first week of October on that Wednesday night, we have our early bird and then day one, we have all of our classes and we've kind of, you know, you get a, a lecture, you get some history, you get a class, you get a demo, you have all this uh -huh. stuff each day. So for me and my quilts and what I'm teaching, day one is um, a star quilt that's uh, kind of twisted. And then day two, we're going to do some English paper piecing and do a hexi. And we'll see, we'll show you some of those other quilts later this week. And then the last day we're doing the hen house. And the hen house has a lot of teaching in it because I'm showing you so many different ways and color variations to put these together. Mm -hmm. Right, because you have several different samples. Yeah, and we yep. were looking at yep. them yes. uh, last night up yep. in the sewing room and just yes. talking about how changing the color and doing this yeah. and that, how it, how it works. works. And I'm also kind of teaching these as a scrap buster because we start out with a two and a fourth inch square of color that's oh, okay. gonna be our flying goose. So mm -hmm. two and a fourth inch squares, pretty, you, you know, you're pretty, pretty small. small. Right. Yeah. You can so cut you those can... from your scraps. Yes. Right. And a lot of these surround strips that we use came from scraps from mm -hmm. other projects. Project. Right. Because this is my fabric that I call the dirt tattered and torn. We keep this right. in stock. So, you know, I have a lot of scraps from other projects yes. that was really building up. And I actually did the hen house block because I had so much of this dirt scrap left over from, from other projects, other quilts. And I really wanted to get those scraps moving and, and implemented in there. So the hen house is um, on that last day and there's a lot of teaching on it. Let's look up here at the wall um, too. Let's look at this one right here, Steve. Uh, this one also uses the hen house block. And this is one of the main quilts that's in the hen house book. And you can see how it makes this beautiful circle. And it looks, traditionally you would look at this and say, no right. way. Right. I can't do that. Oh, no. Too many triangles, too many flying geese. Those flying geese are not even in the oh. center, and yes. it would just be like a nightmare. But with the square and square system, it's really very easy to do. And look at this really cute little border here that we did with that hen house unit. Cute. So you can go to the website and order your hen house book and be ready to go for the uh, Quilt Club Week. If you're wanting to cut your squares and get started on your basic squares, these hen house units that we use in every one of the quilts that I'm going to teach is a two and a fourth inch center square and the strips that you sew around it need to be at least one and a half or one and three fourths. You can't get any smaller with your scrap than one and a half on that. So you can start working on your basic square and getting all these fine geese going and go back in and watch the lives that we did last week. You'll get a lot more um, information on the hen house unit. So uh, we had a request. Uh, we're going to go in and look at some of these quilts from Premium Club. I, and I think we have some questions. So Somebody wondered if you knew you had your <laughs> t-shirt on backwards. This is Quirky K. She may yes. have her shirt on backwards and none of us would even say a word I, to her. She head. said she's going to wear it because it's see, mine. See, it's it's supposed to be on the back. It's yes. on the back. She goes, no, I want to wear it. I'm going to wear it on the front because I said, well, you go ahead, girl. Yes. Yeah, you go More ahead. power to you. So, <laughs> so <laughs> there's two. See, I told you they know that it was <laughs> backwards. <laughs> That's, they're sharp. We got sharp. Sharp. Sharp, sharp ladies. Sharp ladies, yeah. yeah. So there's two big events that we do <laughs> in Square and a Square. The fall is our quilt club week that we're talking about and promoting. And in the spring, we do retreat. We yes. have not oh, yes. opened up the spring retreat yet, but these were t-shirts that came from the retreat. <laughs> yeah. Somebody on Facebook is asking, is it the same ruler that they bought 30 years ago? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yeah. If you bought your rulers 30 years ago, find it, dust it off, get it out, yep. and yep. learn it. And this is not just a tool that you use to make fine geese no. or have square triangles yeah. or whatever. No. This is a tool and a system that you will use to make every quilt. There's I mean, 40 right. different cuts, 42 different cuts now that you 42 can, different options, with the 42 same, different same ruler. ruler. And in the same. beginning, 
Sometimes people ask me, well, why do you have all these lines on here if we're not using them? What do yeah. we do with that one? And yeah. I said, well, in years to come, there's going to be another be option where right. we need this. Right. So this is the same ruler I made 40 years ago. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And right. I love, you. Can, I can square up my blocks as I'm going, you know, like yes. you showed earlier mm -hmm. when you're cutting, I'd made sure that it was square. I love that mm -hmm. feature. With the horizontal and the vertical, because right. right. you uh -huh. can tell as you go, as you is go, this it's what it's square. going to be square. Yeah. 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 Yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, someone's waiting on the book. How much background fabric do I need? Oh, uh, six yards. Six, well, six <laughs> yards is right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you she was a pro. Okay, so if you're doing this quilt right here and you're purchasing fabric, you'll need six yards of it. So we use, um, I kind of broke it down into two yard segments. And the way the pattern is written, if you want to go in there and um, use some of those leftovers and scraps. So we were talking about how we don't ever cut a quilt, the whole quilt, the whole quilt out. Right, right. Because right. as you work on it, you know, like with log cabins or whatever, you can go back in and use those scraps right. in where it's a smaller. Some of the other ones, Because yes. these are your smallest pieces here and here. Right. Mm -hmm. Then these are a little bigger. You know, these are right. a little bigger. These are a little bigger. These are a little bigger. Right. So we go in and do that. You want to grab that cat sure. for me? Somebody just wondering what they need to purchase. Yes. Um, so, um, and I will also tell you on the fabrics that um, as soon as we get the new fabrics, every time I get a new fabric order of the fabrics that I design, we um, we do a promotion and a fabric sale, and that is always the the most. It's it's always the biggest sale. You can save the most money. Yes. I hate to use the word cheapest, but that's when you can get your fabric for the least the best, amount of bucks right, right. and so uh, we have new fabric coming some they're shipping uh, any day here in August and so get on that email list and um, I will tell you that our fabric has gone up so we're, we're trying to figure out ways to work our promotion so that you can still get a good value on that so pay careful attention to the fabric and it coming in six yards I always say you know, when it comes, order, order uh, you know, 16 yards of whatever because that's always going to be your cheapest. Yes. So what is a ruler called? The ruler, this, uh, let's look down here at our ruler and our book. So this is the um, square and a square ruler. We call it the original. It comes packaged like this, and it comes with this book that is the quick and easy book. And it's a, it's a great get started book. It, it has five options, 21 blocks, and six patterns in it. And these are easy ones so that you can get going. Right. Now, this is the, the reference book, the main book. It's a square and a square reference book. It's volume one. And this is the one that takes the options one through 17. And uh, so these are the ones that start with the square. So you've got flying geese, half square triangles, 1 through 17. And it has uh, over 30, 30. quilts. 30, yep. And it has the quilts broke down into multiple block sizes. So say this right. is a 12-inch block. If you are you want a block that's a different size, go to the end of the pattern, and we'll have additional sizes right. for you. Some and you don't them, get that with other patterns. Mm -mm. And like this one, you've got four additional sizes. Right. And... Uh, this one here, this little star that oh, is just... Oh, I love the star. I love the star. You know, that's in everything you make almost. Yes. Look mm -hmm. at all of these extra sizes. Plus, yep. when you turn the page, you've got even you four mean. more sizes here. Yes. So, And it has the options in the front, the first 17 options. And on page 34 is where the charts start. So if you're working with somebody else's pattern... Right. And you want to make flying geese our way. Right. Or half square triangles or whatever, you can go right to the charts... And it will tell you what size of center square and strip so that these turn out the size exactly. you need what to you fit want. into mm -hmm. that, yep. that pattern. Mm -hmm. Yep. And mm -hmm. we do a lot of uh, teaching. This is what we call pattern adapting, how to take a design and turn it turn into it a into square that. and a square. Yes. And we do a lot of that. You can, If you join our email and go back in and watch those webinars, you'll see a lot of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And those are all free on your site. There's a lot that are yeah. free. Yes. Hours and I mean, hours and yeah. hours and yeah. hours of free so stuff. So if we get the original ruler, yep. how do I get the options? You got to get them here in the books. So right. can you yes. go through this? Uh -huh. Was the sixty-five? So, yeah. So this is the original ruler. It makes all of the options, whether they're the square options or the diamond options. We haven't talked about diamond options today, yeah. but those are eighteen to thirty-nine. So original ruler makes all of the options from forty years ago to the new ones we're doing, doing this now. fall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then this is the next book. It teaches the square options. So see, all of these start out with a square in the middle. 
and it's your main workbook with charts and everything. So if you've got the ruler, then you just and, need uh, that. Yeah. You need that. Right, exactly. Yeah. And that's and the $65 people, special. That's this right, right here yeah. is a $65 special. You'll save $5. Right. Okay. Right. Then this one is book two. This is on the diamond shape. So the diamonds are when you have... Um, A different see how yeah. see how this starts out with a diamond in the middle and this was the first row of strips that we put around and then you have your next row and so on so that's what it looks like when you get started this is the basic diamond this is the basic square same ruler mm -hmm. same, same ruler. ruler because when you look at your ruler the 90 is what you use for your squares and you've got your 60s and your 120s that you use when you have this diamond shape so see that 60 fits in the the top corner just like, well, I've got a glare here. There we go. Yeah. So the 60 fits in this corner um, just like the 90 would fit in the square, and you trim it up, and it gives you your seam allowances where you need it to be. Right. So this has got lots of uh, charts. Oh. and Same I thing, mean, only all diamonds. Thing. It's I mean, all diamonds, Yeah, when yes. you look and at the oh. numbers that are in here, it's like, mm -hmm. holy and, smokes. And the yeah, quilts you know. in there. And you've got multiple sizes. Yeah. yeah. And what mm -hmm. I like, oh, look at their Star Frost. Is, um, yeah, we did that yeah, one. We, did that one. <laughs> we, we um, designed that one for you. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't want to make the entire quilt, make one block. Yeah. yeah. Do a sampler quilt to start with. Oh yeah. And that get would be your fun. feet yeah. wet yeah. on making that block. Yeah. And uh, you know, Jody's layouts on how you read patterns and things are really easy mm -hmm. because she every book is done the same way. Yeah. Yes. I mean yeah. each Even instructions, consistent. all the instructions yeah. are the same. You know, uh, and you don't always get that a lot with other Mm -hmm. books and mm -hmm. she tells you total amounts not just for one block right mm -hmm. and you have to figure out the rest of the yeah. quilt mm -hmm. yeah so Complete patterns. that's what I like so before we go though let's zoom down on this one for the diamond book because to me this is a really important part of the diamond book so when you take the diamond and cut it in half you get what we call the Canadian geese which is like the flying geese but it's the longer sharper corners yes you know, like you see here, because we've got the, the diamond shape. So when you cut them in half, you get two. And so um, that's that long pointed star. Mm -hmm. And what I love in here is we start with a little two inch star and work up to the bigger sizes. And we show you like points going out, points going in. So the difference in those blocks is you just flip, you just flip it. Them. Flip them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then solid squares in the corner are centers. And look how you start substituting those centers or those corners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all of these build off of this right. just by points out, points in, and changing the center or the corners. So you have over 200 mm -hmm. sizes of stars and for this. And that's a star back there. Yes. yes. And so, yes, great. This one here. Yes. This is that diamond cut in half. We don't have it on the... Oh. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> the, cameraman. the cameraman can see it, but you guys can't see it. Okay, there we go. So here you can see how, you know, this came together and this was our diamond. We cut it in half. We got our two diamond shapes. And look at this beautiful star. Normally, these oh. points is 50 oh, for 40. A, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful quilts out there. Yes. You just stand back in awe. Mm -hmm. But when you make them the old traditional ways, they, it's it's a nightmare. It mm -hmm. is. I, I, it's an unfinished project waiting to happen. Yes, that's right. That's in there. Yes. Yeah. yes. It's an unfinished project waiting yep. to happen. So yep. this is the, the next book, Goes volume to... two. So this has options one through 17. This has 18 to 38 or 39. Mm -hmm. And then we came out with a new option, and we did option 40. Option 40 is uh, four triangles together. And then we did the snowball, which yeah. is um, option 41. Let me scoot over here. Well. So there's our option 40, and then we have our option 41, the snowball, in here. And then our hen house block is our new option 42 on there. So that's uh, kind of all of it. Now, these little and booklets. There's a special on all of those. You have a Everything? special on the website of all of this? Of Everything. All of those. Wow. Is it one, two, three, four, five items? Do you have the hen house in it? Yes. Okay. So it's so got the hen. Six. So you've got the ruler. The Snowball, two main the reference books. You've and got 40. It doesn't have the hand house, though. It doesn't have oh, it doesn't. House. Okay, that's what I was okay. asking. Yeah, yeah. No, okay, it so it doesn't have but the hand house. But I can add it today. Okay. He can After add I'm it. I'm done. Of but course. Not now. <laughs> Mr. Steve. Mr. Steve, Steve can he works do it all wonders. For us. Yes. He's he a can miracle do it worker. all for us. Okay, so any other questions, Steve? So is it best to start out a colored square for the center and a neutral for the borders? 
on option one. Not necessarily. Like two point two five center to, and then one point two five to one and a half surround strips. It, it is really, that for the hen how? I wonder. No. If well, it depends on what you're going to do with these. Right, where you yeah. want them to show up? If this right. is going to be a star, then I want my center light because see that's going to be my background, and then my star would come mm -hmm. out here like this. I don't know what happened to my other one, but anyway, mm -hmm. you, he flew off. Yeah, he flew off. Mm -hmm. So obviously, if you want your background here for these star points to show up, then you have to put it in here. Right. But now the cool thing with half square triangles is it doesn't matter. So let's look at this one. So this is half square triangles. This is option four. So see how our center was light with the blue on our strips. But see with half square triangles you can turn them so it doesn't right. matter. Right. Difference. You can put the. No. Yeah. It depends on um, um, how much fabric you have. Yes. So right. I hate to want to get into that. Right. Yes. Yes. What you use in here takes you less, fa less, less fabric than your strips. What you use here. Correct. You use more. That's mm -hmm. what you always so, told us. Yes. So when you make, I'm so so glad you guys I listened. Figured after all these years, you haven't lost that. <laughs> but, uh, so it depends on what you're making and where you want your colors to be when right. you get finished mm -hmm. with your project. So right. like in our hen house one, if we can, um, with our oh, hen house one. It's over here. Whoops. Uh, we can put it over here. No, I'm okay. okay. Oh, okay. No, back. All right. So, <laughs> go back a little bit. Okay. All right. So with our hen house units, see how the the this is the body of the goose. See how it was That's, colored mm -hmm. squares. Mm -hmm. That's the mm -hmm. colored squares. And the light were on the it's outside. On the outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so if you're depends. doing the pen, hen house, hen house you, if you're working you with the hen house, then so you need to start with a colored square yeah. and then, and then mm -hmm. light, light on the outside. Yeah. Strip. So when I was doing this quilt, this was all scraps. So I looked, I you know, looked at my scraps to see what I had. Yeah. I had a lot of color that were smaller pieces, pieces. Mm -hmm. and I had a lot of scraps that were the, the light. light. And so that's how I kind of got started with my scraps. And then I was like, okay, what quilts do I have that I want to make that I need... Um, a little, little unit like that. A little unit. flying goose mm -hmm. where the color mm -hmm. is in the middle. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I came up with the with all of these. Mm -hmm. And I just started, oh, spring and summer, I just started cutting my scraps to that two and a fourth and mm -hmm. using just my uh, background strips on it. So I've been for, you know, four, five, six months, I've just been working on flying geese. Mm -hmm. And then like two weeks or so ago, I was like, okay, let's start putting these together, together. to see what we can get. And look at how nice those oh, nice. points yeah. are. You are pretty good at you're, this, you're, aren't you? Well, <laughs> yeah. Re I want you to remember. But it's, it's, I am the kamikaze smoke and needle sewer. Right. So that's it's right. the system that yes. helps system me. that works. So when yes. people say, oh, I can't do that, or oh, you're, oh, or you're you just Jody Barrows, you're really no, good, no, I'm no, like, no, 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 no. No, no I'm Jody Barrows. No, I'm Jody Barrows. I can do that People have asked me, Oh, are, are you Jody, Jody Barrows? Barrows? And I went, no, I really don't want to be her. <laughs> <laughs> she she has got so much more going on and knows so much more than I do. I just, no. Mercy. But I could be if I really wanted yeah, to be. Too. But Well, I don't know about no. that. <laughs> no, that. I don't have Mr. Steve behind yeah. the scenes. So, you know, that yeah. takes him behind the scenes to All do. Right. I don't know what <laughs> Someone was asking about a demo on the ruler, so they need to go back and watch. To the beginning. Yes, go back beginning yeah. to the and beginning. And watch. Uh, watch It'll be on, the replay will be yeah. on And that's um, the cool Facebook, thing YouTube, about all, that. all yes. of these webinars and stuff that we do is if you, you just jumped in or you're like, okay, now how did she do that? What did she say? I want to see that again. Yeah, you can back. back it back up yep. on the replays and see. You can see. watch them on Facebook or YouTube, but yeah. we have them all together. Uh, on the, on webs the website, website squareandsquare.com. We need your email to give you those, and they're free. Ah, there yeah, you go. Okay. Yeah, they're a lot free, of stuff so is don't, free. Yeah. You just have to go to the website and sign up with your email because we want to make sure you're a real person. Because I get a it's, notification whenever yeah, right. the, the mm -hmm. lives are on or whatever. Or we've and, added something, yeah, or the yeah. fabric's coming and there's That's a sale, right. or That's right. whatever. Yeah. Okay. All right, so here's your original ruler, and we're just going to put the 90 oh, right okay. in the tip. Wait, wait, she's... He's, there we go. It's We're going to put the 90 today. right. <laughs> we need to be a little slow today. <laughs> oh, mercy. Hey, too much of a Don't. good time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to the <laughs> Sorry. Here's the 90 right here in the tip. 
Here's the black lines going over the seam, the grid line going right through the point. We're going to trim it up and see that's your perfect fourth of an inch, just like that. So if you do it to all four sides, that's what we call the option one. If you do it on the um, for the flying geese, we want to do what we call the two-step. So put the 90 in there and just step it over, Texas two-step, put it right in the tip, make it sharp. I look to make sure I'm staying straight. And then so if you know how to leave a fourth of an inch or how to go right up to the tip and you know how to do a basic square, that's all there is that's to it. You need. That's it. That's it. When people come by the booth, they're like, well, I just don't know if I can do it. I'm like, do you understand this? Yes. Mm -hmm. They're like, yes. And I said, do you know how to leave a fourth? Yes. yes. Do you know how to two-step? Yes. Then you got, You're it. Done. You got you it. You got mm -hmm. it. You yes. got it. You got it. You just got to jump in there and go. Like I said, do, do sample blocks. You know, don't Make samples, get so yeah. involved and so overwhelmed to do, oh, I want a whole this bunch of stuff. whole bunch. I got to do 50 blocks or yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah know, just start. And that's just, why the quick and easy book yeah. has got, has got little a projects. Of, yes. So yes. The quick and easy book has got little projects yeah. in it so that you can get you started. You can get started and learning the system because mm -hmm. that's what you have to learn too. Mm -hmm. It's a learning curve. You didn't mm -hmm. get on a bicycle and take off immediately. Right, immediately. Right, right. Uh -uh. You have to do a learning curve and you fall and off you sometimes. you scrape a knee. Mm -hmm. And get back on and your dad shoves you down the road and says go. And then you <laughs> or your fall. grandma. Yeah, Are I you did still holding on? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. The Hollis brought his bike when he was here and the two times and we're going down the road because we've got some flat roads here right. and, and, and no, we don't, don't have to worry about traffic yeah. and stuff right. when they do at their house and so you know I'm hanging on and running there with him you know <laughs> pretty soon I can't run and with him anymore you know so I turn loose and then all of a sudden he starts going into the kids I'm like no 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 <laughs> yes <I> digress <laughs> yes uh, oh, he's right <laughs> back in, he's back in, girl. Okay, we have. Um, okay, you were talking about, or you were going to talk about premium clubs. We have people wanting to order some stuff. They get it. They and we do have them discounted, but if they join premium, they yes. If they you get if you go view. in, that, so this is some stuff about premium That's club true. here that people have sent. If you go in and order premium club, you go to the website squareandsquare.com. At the top, there's a banner. Quick Club Week or Premium Club. If you join Premium Club, then you're going to get a, a discount on in, on the the books and rulers and stuff. Oh, so right. you might want to look at that uh, if you don't have anything, um, or maybe you've got something but you haven't it's joined a Premium Club. Discount. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a starter yeah, discount. Free, yeah, free shipping in the U.S. and an extra discount. Uh, so, yeah, if you're not in the U.S., you still get a discount on the shipping. He works that all out. But in the U.S., you'll get a discount uh, or free shipping or whatever. But lots of times people, I'm always kind of like, oh, when, you know, like they join Premium Club, they have that discount for like two weeks or whatever on any of the books or patterns or mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. you know, and they'll order just... Just yeah, I know. And it's like, oh, you're missing and the I'm point like, oh, you're, you're missing your discount. Yeah, yeah you know? you're missing. Uh, the you've point. already yes. jumped in there to get the premium. Yeah, you're all excited, but so, you don't have all the tools. Yeah, so you yes. know, we if if you if you can, I, I'm I'm saying this for you to help you save money. Right. If you can't afford it, get the four patch, get the nine patch. There's six tools. Right. We use all of them. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, there's the two main books. You know, it, try if you can try to get all six tools. And get the two main books if you if you can do that. Um, yes. You know I don't want, you know your cat to go hungry because yeah. you bought a don't, ruler. Don't, don't spend your lunch money. Yeah, but you know, but, but you know, you we we do use them. You will use them, and you will fall yeah. in love with them. Yeah. Yes. And you know people are like because you work with them, you yeah. will show yes. Yes. give yes. demos, Constantly. and all you'll of those. see that they do help you get more speed and perfection. So yeah. Yeah. this one um, was. Um, a text that was sent to me and she said, I just love the square and square system. The accuracy and the ease are fantastic. Now, and this particular person had joined Premium Club, so she's really learned how to how use to her it. stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I only started quilting four years ago when I retired, so I can't say I wasted years of my life doing it any other way <laughs> right. because but, so many people right. have quilted a long time and we hear that, oh, I saw that 20 years ago. Sure. I wish I had gotten Done. involved with it then. Yeah. Yes. But I will always use square and a square to make my quilts, if at all possible. And I'm working on doing some pattern adapting now. So she's getting her square oh, eyes. Nice. Yeah. She's progressing along and, and doing great. 
And then this one said, looking forward to everything you have in store for us. <laughs> Thank you both for all your hard work, your tips and hints, teaching, and encouragement is priceless to me. I've been with you a little over a year and have so much more confidence. My skills are improving, and I no longer get irritated when pieces don't fit together because they do. do. Yes. <laughs> so... Of course, we love to, to hear and see all of that. Yes. Okay, so some other questions before we look at some quilts back here? I don't think so. Okay, so you can good. go to the website, square to square com. sign up with your email. We can do a text line, too. You can, get, uh, you can go in there and look at Premium Club. You can look at Quilt Club Week. Now, if you join Premium Club, it, once again, if you can afford to uh, do yeah, Premium right. Club, right. it's it's $177, right? And it includes and everything. Everything yeah. is in there, and you get that discount on your products yeah, for like week. two weeks. All of it, including you get Quilt yeah. Club Week. And so, like, um, Premium Club is set up so that we have a fall semester, just like a school or a university, mm -hmm. and then we have a spring semester. So just like one of that, one of those semesters would easily be Oh, you know, right. seventy-five to one hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Well, you can't even take a class anymore no. at a quilt show for yeah. less than a hundred dollars right. for three like hours. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for yeah. only three hours. Yeah. And all of our semesters have anywhere from ten to fifteen classes in them. And when you yes. join and one Premium class Club, could be an hour and a half. You have all of them. All from of the them yes. available. Mm -hmm. It's not so, just one. You know, yeah. this You're year. Not... You can go back at any time, and not only square to square, but. There's machine quilting on there. Yes, we're stuff. going to talk Lots about of, your machine mm -hmm, quilting stuff. Yeah. So, so not so just square to square. Yeah. Yeah. And really you have that everything. beginner that beginner series. One whole semester that you did. was a beginner series. I mean, series. it's yes. not. I mean, it's about cutting. It's about pressing. It's about how fabrics are made. How fabrics are made, and, are made, and mm -hmm. it, it's marvelous. Great I mean, basic how to buy fabric. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How to buy fabric? How to choose color? Yeah. How to cut? How to choose rulers? How yeah. to just right. a lot of, you know, because most of the time you take a beginner quilting class, you're going to come in and they're going to show you how to cut squares and triangles and yep. make a little thing. That's right. Well, we don't even get to that till like class 14 or whatever. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. and then we've got some simple yeah. uh, classes they're not in there. Long for you. segments. I yeah. mean, no. they're, you know, reasonable that you could sit down for a little while and, mm -hmm. and yeah. watch one. Well, and, and like you said, while you're sitting and sewing, maybe doing can, something else, put the beginner. Put, Series, series on, on yeah. and let's start watching and, learn all and about then all fiber. of a sudden you're going to say oh what was that yeah, i didn't yes. know that and go back yeah. and do it yeah well that's why my when i press my fabric goes crazy right you know because you know? mm -hmm. we talk about how the fabric with pressing we really get into the pressing we talk about and that's a good good lead in for our question a question that we had um, on right our there. website oh, yes. with uh, pressing is, is that our cotton fibers were a living thing. When they were growing in the ground and it was come, becoming a cotton fiber for us to weave together and then print and everything, it was a living thing. So when you, when you guys are pressing and your iron is there, mm -hmm. if you reach around, your arm can feel that heat. Yes. It? Oh, sure. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. So what do you do? You back, back away. away. Mm -hmm. So when you are pressing, your fabric feels it's, that heat it, yeah, and it, it moves it, away right. mm -hmm. so that's why your stuff gets distorted when you press so we we talk about how to press and how to allow that heat to um set or set. maneuver and make what our our pieces be what they should be so that they can be perfect they can right. grow up and be perfect right. instead right. of right. having complications so um let's bring the camera down here this is the uh, like anytime you have four squares coming together whether they're half square triangles or solid squares, anytime you have four pieces coming together, you can do what we call the four patch pop. So obviously you're gonna sew two squares together, two squares together, and then you're gonna have a long seam, seam. where you connect it, mm -hmm. okay? So that long seam where you connect it, you want it to be horizontal in front of you. So here's the, here's the long seam, it's horizontal in front of me. So I'm gonna put my 